what you guys got another video here for you now in this one we're going to be taking a look at performing a clean boot now i was just on the forums and uh, someone was asking they've got problems with their system booting up really slowly so a clean boot is a good way of diagnosing uh, troubleshooting any sort of software conflicts or any sort of slow computer startup and you can also remove any USB uh, peripherals from the computer apart from your mouse and keyboard and this is another good way of uh, testing the system to find out what is going wrong okay so let's get started so what you want to do is go down to the search box and type MS config and I can't believe I haven't made this video but click on uh, system configuration and uh, from here you can see we're under general here and what you want to do is go to selective startup and what you want to do is take out the tick on the load startup items you want to then go to services put the tick in hide all Microsoft services and you want to disable all on there okay now I'm just going to leave this one running because I'm on a virtual machine but I want the guest editions to run but you should have all of these removed by doing uh, that okay next up you want to go to startup and then open task manager inside here you're going to have a long list of uh, your startup programs that start up when you boot up your system now sometimes uh, your system uh, be, could be uh, hindered by one of these uh, programs that's loading up and the way to test this is to disable these okay so you just highlight them click disable and uh, disable okay now I would normally disable all of them but you can see here uh, we've got uh, guest editions that I need this to run so I can get the full 1920 by 1080 so I'm gonna leave this running but you should disable all of these what you should do then is close this off apply this and then OK it will ask you uh, to restart and once it asks you to restart you want to say uh, restart so we'll just let this load in okay so we're now back at the desktop and what that's done is it's just done a nice clean boot of our system with very minimalistic sort of programs loading up at the startup so what we can do from here now is if that startup went very very quickly and it loaded up and the problem has gone away then we know one of the uh, items that we've disabled has uh, been causing the problem now what you can do is go back into MS config so what we want to do now now we're inside system config configuration again we want to open up our task manager and you want to then start to enable in one of these at a time okay so one of the ones that are normally causing issues could be uh, some sort of software like uh, for instance uh, an AV antivirus program something like that and you can just right click and enable these one at a time and reboot and see if the problem comes back now if it does then you know this is the offending uh, program that's causing the issue okay and you can do other things like check boot logs and stuff like that as well which I can cover in another video if you're interested in that it's just basically checking logs and how the startup is on the boot log file just to see what where the problem lies okay and once you've happily with uh, finding which is the culprit which is caused the problem you can then um, go back and uninstall this and update it or whatever it is you need to do okay so I'm just going to quickly enable these again and uh, what you want to do next is once you've done that is you want to close this off and go back to your general tab and uh, we now know what the problem is so assuming it was our antivirus we've now removed our antivirus we can now put normal startup we can also go back into our services remove the tick from hide all services here and uh, you want to enable all of these okay and uh, that's pretty much it once you've done that you can then apply and restart your system and that's basically how you can uh, do a clean boot on a Windows 8, Windows 8.1 or Windows 10 operating system. Now what you can also do is remove any USB devices 
uh, from the computer apart from your mouse and keyboard and see if that problem goes away because sometimes having a USB plugged in uh, you may be having an issue with the printer or a webcam or something like that and it's causing an issue so just remove all the peripherals apart from your mouse and keyboard and that's another thing that you can test as well and uh, we've won cover more of these uh, issues in other videos if you want to see those let me know in the comments section below what you want to see and i'll do my best uh, to make those videos for you but anyway thanks again for watching i hope this one helps you out my name is brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk bye for now now if you haven't subscribed yet hit the big red subscribe button on my youtube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos